Hi everyone, this is Game March 1996, and welcome today. Um, I am playing Black Ops Zombies on the first map, and I, for some reason, have hopped onto this late. I was just kind of playing around on Black Ops Zombies, getting ready for Black Ops 2 to come out. Um, I already gone to GameStop and pre-ordered it. I'm excited to see what they're going to do with Zombies, and I just kind of wanted to get, you know, the hang of Zombies again. So, I went and done that, and while I was actually playing around, I decided to start recording at si level 16. I had the Self Revive and the Juggernaut, and I started to realize this really awesome uh, way of surviving the zombies, the rounds of zombies. And really, the trick is that I learned is just to go crazy on the grenades once you get up in the booth. Um, but you'll see a little bit more of what I'm going to do here. Um, of course, I did upgrade the. I have not bought anything out of the mystery box, I just bought the mp40 off the wall and the other one that you've seen and um which helps out a lot but basically what i've done is i have kind of made it to where once i come back you know of course you make your rounds with the zombies like this but let them stay right there on you and uh you know turn around every once in a while shoot but what we're going to do is that we're, after every round you leave at least a crawler monkey and go around and build uh, not build barriers but um, just leave one alive and wait for the teleporter to cool down and then go ahead and link the teleporter and then kill the last crawler or monkey and then after that then the round should pass and then as soon as the round passes or not as soon as the round passes but as soon as you hear the zombies start coming then teleport. That way all the zombies will meet at the middle as soon as you go upstairs. And then after that you just throw grenades and then buy more grenades. Just keep on throwing and throwing and throwing grenades out there in the middle and knock out as many zombies as you possibly can. Um, and that way you, when, once you come back down it won't be as bad. It'll be something sort of like this. And you can they'll be around, all rounded up. Um, another thing too is after you reach a higher level, which you'll see a little bit later on in this video, um, as soon as you come out from the teleporter, you want to go ahead and make your right and go up the stairs because the zombies will come up right next to you through the window. You don't want to hang around and just start shooting like I did. And for some reason, I did, went down here. It was kind of a dumb way to go down. I don't even know how it happened. I, I guess I just made my rounds too quick and uh, the zombies kind of changed their train on me. So somehow I got out of that with the self revive and I made my way back to my rounds. And I was actually surprised I didn't get killed there. But uh, as you can see, I have lost my perks. And um, I have, you know, just kind of worked on that. Uh, the main perks you want to use is Self Revive if, if you're playing by yourself. I would suggest getting Quick Revive if you're playing with others. Because in case something like this happens. And uh, you need to go ahead and revive them. So as you can see here, the teleporter is already ready to be linked up. And I just go ahead and make my way towards the um the other pad that way i'm going to link it but first i'm going to stop by and grab my juggernaut um great thing to have because you never know when you're going to run into a situation where you need it and i believe i'm going to go ahead and get the self revive if i still have it unlocked and as you can see there i kind of turn around every once in a while and just kind of shoot at them and um i get to thinking on, on black ops 2 the main i mean on black ops Zombies, if you think about it, some of the main things that you, that'll get you killed on zombies is either getting cornered or running out of ammo. So I went ahead and bought the mule kick. That way I have three guns. Uh, or once I buy another gun, I'll be able to have three guns. Because, as I said before, um, <coughs> the, one of the main things that gets you killed on zombies is getting cornered or running out of ammo. So the more guns, the better, because you will need those in order to survive. So I end up buying another little submachine gun and upgrading all three have all my guns upgraded and that really helped out a lot so if you do still have self revive i would recommend getting self revive juggernaut and the triple weapon after you upgrade your first two weapons but be sure to get juggernaut because i mean and self revive because those are just pretty much a must have perks um i've been bad about not buying perks but for now on i'm going to be doing that because it's just a great way of doing that and another thing i would recommend is buying the bowing knife off the wall because it's just going to make you so much money use it on the monkeys that way you can make more money and they won't explode everywhere um 
that's another tip I have for you. And uh, and another tip I even have for you is if you have a weak gun and you get them rounded up like I had them rounded up, use it in that way. Use that weak gun because um, you want to save your, I mean as long as you're safe and you have them all rounded up behind you and you know that you're safe, that you do have the train working like it should be, go ahead and use your weak gun. That way you can... Uh, don't be wasting your ammo on your other on your good upgraded guns and you'll be doing good um, and you'll make more money that way too uh, another thing I want to say is once you uh, open only the doors that take you in that circle like I'm taking never open the bottom is if you I mean if you want to do it the way I'm doing this don't never open the bottom like I say uh, the mystery box must have been in one of the outside rooms or something like that or the bottom room but um, what I did is I opened up the first two the upstairs and then the next room and I bought the mp40 I always would love to upgrade the mp40 because it's gonna be an amazing gun upgraded and it will get you really far just by itself because it not it, just because it don't have a fast fire rate which but that means that it does save your ammo but it does have a lot of damage uh, painted on it and after it's upgraded it's just a monster it's um it's crazy and for some reason here I had to pause the video but oh well and another thing I bought was the mp5k um, and I will end up upgrading it as well so I have all three guns upgraded and <coughs> like I say I could have easily probably got I mean out of the money I got and gotten a ray gun out of the mystery box and probably a thunder gun and all them but I mean the thunder gun you only get so many shots and the ray gun if you're in close quarters then you're you know you're not in good shape because you're going to end up killing yourself really quick with the ray gun at close range so I would not recommend getting that at all I mean if you're going long range with it that's good I like using machine guns myself if I had a light machine gun I believe I would have done a lot better but um, but as you see here the round is passed because I killed the last one and I'm waiting I'm making sure I'm waiting I'm not teleporting right off the bat because if I teleported then there won't be no zombies in the middle I'm waiting for a zombie to come like there and I hit it and that way I'm up here and I know that there's zombies down there so I'm gonna go ahead and get my um, grenade launcher ready and go ahead and throw some grenades um, I kinda re- I always reload my grenade launcher when I go to buy more grenades and I mean I'm telling you if you have the money buy the grenades I don't care if you're if you're almost there to to upgrade your weapon buy the grenades because it's just going to help you in the long run it's going to make things so much more easier and um, just makes things a whole lot better but yeah um, like I said before I really recommend getting the mp40 because it is just a really powerful gun um, if you know how to use it uh, just you know use it wisely like I say it doesn't waste all your ammo real quick or nothing so that's a good thing but um yeah I just kinda play like this and I end up I did end up dying at round I think well I ain't gonna give away what round I died at but uh it was kind of a weird way I got trapped in of course again by zombies um but I'm sure there was a way around what I could have gotten around and it looks like I was actually gonna get around from dying but I didn't and I was like really mad about that but it was all cool it was all right but um but everything's fine and uh, I was kind of you know just taking it easy letting the zombies build up behind you get that train going I mean I'm telling you if you get that train going you're gonna be good to go and if you do what I suggest by w wait until the teleporter cools down and, t and linking them and then waiting for the zombies to come then they're pretty much all going to come to the middle and they're just all going to run at you in a train so it's like basically when you teleport you just made a train you made a train of zombies because they're all going to come to the middle and they're all going to be a train once they're done um, <clears throat> once you teleport back they're just going to come at you in a straight line and just just walk do not run because what will happen is if you go too fast then the zombies will actually come from the other direction and then you're going to be trapped in the middle um, one thing I suggest is getting through this hallway right here pretty quick because just in case but don't run because it will mess up your your train like I said they'll come from the other direction like this one here I must he must have been on the back end of the train 
and he was um, he must have changed direction on me but uh, I took care of him you'll probably have a few of them that'll do that so just be careful on that don't always trust that your back is safe because like I say there's another one that was kinda hanging out there and but if you just kinda go around them or just go ahead and knock them out and another thing I would even suggest as well is go ahead and knock out the one if like there's one zombie that's right behind you and the other ones are far behind it go ahead and shoot that front one because um, that way you can actually let the, the whole train get right close to you and what you may notice here is I'm using my mp5 not my upgrade gun I'm using my mp5 um, to go ahead and you know get some points off the zombies because what's gonna happen is, is I'm gonna be shooting these zombies I'm gonna be getting more points because I'm using uh, I'm, I'm getting more shots into them and you see how fast I can rank up points by using my non upgraded mp5 I'm not killing them as much but if as long as I have them like this where I want them now I'm gonna get some points and I will kill a few of them on the way but um yeah, if you just go by that way and you're good to go go ahead and build up your points and upgrade your guns when you need it and um, like I say go ahead and knife those and you'll be good to go but anyways that's kinda like my tips I have for now and you just kinda watch how I how I do this um, you can watch this video and see how I keep that train going I can keep that train going and I believe I, at the end of the video I could have resolved that problem when I died. I believe I could have resolved that problem by probably going slower and not getting, letting them get so far behind me. But I, was, I guess I was just starting to rush and, you know, getting a little nervous about wanting to get further and further. But um, I could have definitely gotten probably a lot further if I just would have let them stay right behind me and just concentrated more on my front. But um, <coughs> like I say... I did. I think I did pretty good, and I was glad to learn something new. And another thing is, if you buy guns off the walls, which I highly suggest doing, because if you upgrade the weapons off the walls, and you know you're gonna have good weapons, um, if you upgrade them. And like I said, the MP40 is just it's just amazing to have. Um, go ahead and link this here. And another thing is that what I like to do. <coughs> is um like I say shoot with the mp5 but you know upgraded guns that you can be bought off the wall one thing I like about them more than the mystery box is that you can actually buy the ammo for the upgraded gun say for instance you're in a hard spot and as you can see here I rank up points pretty quick because I'm doing this so as long as you're doing this right here you're gonna be ranking up points pretty quick and buying ammo off the wall ain't gonna be a problem at all so if you just go ahead and do what I'm doing here and then you can like for instance down here I'll play I think this is where I'll buy more ammo for it uh, may not I don't know I think I was checking out how much that was I decided not to get it but um, I think I make another round and I go ahead and buy the mp40 ammo um, always make sure that you're next to the teleporter before you kill the last monkey that way you'll be set to go and make sure it is connected like here in a minute I think I'll forget to connect it but I end up getting lucky and able to go over and link the pads and everything will be fine. But, um, yeah, if you just watch the rest of this video and just see how I play this out. And then you'll be able to get the idea for how I get around zombies. So, um, and so I just want to go ahead and say thanks for watching. Please subscribe, comment, and rate for more videos coming out. And see, as you can see here, I forgot to link and I was like mad. I was like, oh, this is where I'm going to die because I done messed up bad. But I ended up making a run for it, and I was like, why isn't the teleport working? And I was like, I know I linked this, but I forgot that I actually didn't link it. So I had to make a run for it, and I ended up getting it, but uh, got hit there. And it, I thought I was going to make a round, but I just kind of fought my way to the front. But anyways, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, comment, and rate. And let me know what you think. And if you have any more tips on zombies, please let me know. And um, I'm just going to... We post more videos on Black Ops and Marvel for 3 and Black Ops 2 as soon as it comes out. So be sure to be watching for that and much more. And uh, like I say, just watch the rest of this video and see how I get around zombies. Alright, talk to you later and goodbye.